Hello my darlings, how are you all doing? Hope you're all doing really, really well. Welcome to another vlog. Sorry about the camera shaking. I forgot to charge the gimbal. Anyway, welcome to my channel. Hope you're all doing really well. It's a beautiful day today here in Wales. So I am off to do a little bit of shopping. There's a few things I need to get. So I'm going to go to B&M. Uh, might pop into Poundland, not sure yet. Uh, and for a change, I have started my vlog out of the car. Normally I'm inside the car doing uh, my introduction. So hope you're all doing really well. We've had some really nice weather, haven't we? Really, really nice. Um, if you're new here, welcome. It's so nice to have you. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Just press that little red button down below and uh, it'll be great to have you. And for my returning subscribers, I just want to say thank you so, so much. I've got to um, 253 subscribers now and I couldn't be happier. I'm so, so grateful for you all. Thank you so much. So I thought I'd just take you along with me today. Um, if I see anything new in B&M, I'll film it like I did on my last vlog. If you haven't watched my last vlog, I'll link it up there in the eye and you can pop over and have a look. Um, and then at the end, I will um, do a little haul and show you anything that I do pick up. I might pop into the charity shop as well. So yeah. I'm going to jump in the car and drive to town and I will see you in a little while. Bye. Hi darlings, um, just got to uh, Poundland and it's really busy. So I hate filming in public, people look at you so weird. Um, I don't know whether I'm going to film in there or not. I'll see how busy it is when I get inside, but car park's pretty full, fuller than normal. I think sunshine's brought everybody out. So, um, I'll see what it's like when I get in there. I've been for a few weeks, so there might be some new bits. So, I'll see you in a week, guys. Just spotted this in B&M, guys. This is a whole new range I haven't seen before. It's called the, uh, where is it? Soft Sea range. Look at this oil burner. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's wooden. It's got the candle holder inside there. And like a little dish on the top for five pounds. I haven't seen this range before. They've got cushions, lamps. They've got these little belly baskets. How much are they? £3 for those little storage baskets, some um, picture frames for £2 and they've got this little sign, family makes this house a home, that's £2. They've got some bigger baskets, these are the ones that you pull out, how much are they? They're £8 and they've even got bedding as well. And that's £17 for the king size, so that's a cute little range that's new in. But apart from that, I haven't seen anything new, uh, anything else new yet. So if I do, I'll jump back on. These are a couple of new bits as well. Look at these elephant tea light holders. How cute are they? Four pounds. And then they've got these black panthers as well. They're five pounds. And that's from the Urban Paradise range. And then they've got these little planters for five pounds as well. So they're new, I haven't seen those before. I absolutely love that little elephant tea light holder. They've got some nice storage baskets as well. Um, these are nice, they're like a, an oblong shape, quite big in the straw with a cream like rope detail and they are £8. They are really, really nice and they're quite deep as well. Nice in a bathroom with some towels folded up inside. And they've got these chunky ones here, the square ones. They are six pounds. And then they've got a few smaller ones there for five pounds. So some cute baskets and some storage. Can't see anything new in the storage though. So that's more or less the same as when I was here last time. 
This is nice as well, guys. This LED lantern for $14.99. They've got it in silver and in copper. That's really nice. I like that. Be nice at Christmas. I know it's only due, but I'm still thinking about Christmas. And they've got a star shaped one there for £18. That's very Christmassy. Really nice. I haven't seen those before. They're definitely new in and not a bad price either. These are new as well, guys. I haven't seen these before. They've got these chest of drawers with like this rattan effect on the front and black. And then they've got the ladder shelf as well. They're £50. And they've also got the little side tables to match for £25. So they're quite nice. That's that Urban Paradise range again. And then look at this two tier trolley. That is really, really nice. And that is. £30 so not bad for that really like that that's nice as well it's like a little side table with a magazine rack in the bottom that's only £12 quite like that as well got some really pretty canvases in as well that one's gorgeous that's £12 and it's big as well and then they've got the floral ones they're £10 they are so nice and then they've got these like Aztec ones which are £10 as well and then one with a love heart with an Aztec pattern in they're all £10 and then you've got these like outdoor scenery ones and elephant ones Buddha more elephants, tigers zebra, peacock they are lovely all £10 they are Hi guys back in the car now I've just invested in one of those things for my window screen to put my phone on now to be and it was only eight quid and i'm sweating my tits off so i have now got to drive round to the local garden center because i was looking for some plant pots for growing some tomatoes and they hadn't got any in b and so i'm just going to try the local garden centre which I think is open until 8 o'clock can't remember if it is or not so I hope it's open when I get there so I thought I'd let the video run and have a little drive along with me which I've never done before and now I've got to concentrate on driving and talking at the same time which is uh, not the best idea for me because I'm a little bit of a nervous driver I've been driving that long really I think I passed my test in um, 2014 I think it was a past so I've not been driving that long well, I say I'm a nervous driver I'm not a nervous driver I'm a cautious driver I would say don't really get nervous now I did when I first passed so anyway I'm off down to the um, garden centre for these plant pots for the tomato plants so hopefully they've got some in the garden centre it is a really nice little garden centre actually they sell some beautiful things so um, I might do a little bit of filming in there as well it's so hot, the makeup's melting, I've got a bad eye, my eyes all bloodshot, I don't know what's wrong with it. So I hope the camera's not shaking too much. So anyway, how are you all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and enjoying this nice weather that we're having. Um, it's how many degrees? 67 degrees Fahrenheit, it says on my I don't know what that is in Celsius but it's bloody warm it's been quite busy out today to be honest uh, shops have been busy and I have had the bargain of the century out to the charity shop today I will show you in my haul but I'll tell you as well now I'll give you a little bit of a spoiler the original price is still on there at £215 and I got them for a fiver so I am so pleased with that and I've got to drive right 
shut up my arse. I tend to get a bit of road rage as well, especially when people are driving right up your arse. It does my head in. We're nearly at the garden centre now. It's just round this island at the bottom here. So yeah, absolute bargain. 215 quid, still on the the uh, original price, still on, and I paid a fiver. So I'll show you those when I do my haul when I get home. While you're breaking, oh, I know I haven't been driving that long, but bloody hell, I don't know if some people pass their tests. Sweat dripping down my my face. My top lip's not working. Ooh. Our, um, I know I was going to be doing the um, motorhome tour, but I'm having a little bit of a ball ache with the heating system. So the seats are all still out. The guy did come the other day, did something to it. It's still not working. So he's had to order another part. So a few days away is on hold at the moment. So it's probably going to be um, not this week coming now, but the week after. So I will be doing the motorhome tour at some point, but I can't do it until all the seats are back in. Hence why I'm doing this little vlog today. Uh, now to find a parking spot, I hate parking. I like to drive in and drive out. That's my ideal um, spot. There we go, found one straight in. And then I can drive out, I hate parking. There we go, we're at the garden centre now. So that was my first drive with me. I hope you enjoyed it, I did. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna pop into the garden centre now, guys, and I will see you in a bit. So oh, guys, we've just got into the garden centre. They're not open till eight and they're getting ready to close, but I did just wanna show you this. Look at this. This is the most beautiful place ever. Look at this setup. That tree is amazing absolutely beautiful and they've got all the garden furniture on sale they've got this fire pit table here for 674.99 which is absolutely gorgeous and then got a double swing seat here seven that's not on sale that's 730 739 We've got all the rattan furniture, it's so nice in here. We've got this set here, absolutely gorgeous. I love this shop. They have some beautiful things. Look at these lanterns for outside. They are stunning. And they are on sale for £20. For those big ones was 40 Absolutely gorgeous. And look at this setup here. Look at that, absolutely stunning. Oh, oh my God, look at this barbecue. Oh, every year they have the best stuff ever. They really, really do. I absolutely love it in here. Anyway, I'm gonna go and look for some, um, oh, look at these. How nice are they? I don't know whether you can see on the camera whether it's picking it up as good, but they are beautiful. Yeah, I'm going to go and look for the plant pot, so I'll speak to you in a while. Back home now, guys. Look at my pooly eye. It's hurting very much. I don't know, I don't know what's wrong with it. It's really sore. My nose keeps running as well, so if you can see me keep doing this, it's causing my, eye, my nose to run. So I can't wait to get my contact lenses out. So, I'm back home. I hope you've enjoyed uh, spending the day with me and, uh, you know, having a little chat and the drive along. First time I've done that. I really enjoyed that, actually. I will do that again. 
Um, I'm going to start with Poundland because I didn't get loads from there. So I went to Poundland, um, b and and I popped in the charity shop. I can't wait to show you the bargain that I've got. Oh my God, it is amazing. Anyway, Poundland, let's get straight into it. I'll just pick it out the bag as, as I get it so you can, um, you know, there's no particular order. So, um, when I went to Poundland last time, I picked up the jug like these with the, the little bubbles on there. So I picked up the glasses today and they are two for a pound and I picked up, oh, I hope that's not broke. No, I picked up two packs um, to go with the jug. Should have bought three really, but you know, I just picked up two. And then I also got these. I saw these on um, Bean Mrs Dudley. Um, Juliet her name is I saw these over on her channel and I thought I hope they've got them when I go and they've got them they are these this bathroom range now these were only a pound they're only plastic but they don't look plastic with the bamboo around the bottom I've got the soap dispenser the toothbrush holder and the soap dish as well pound each um, they've got like a um, little tub with a bamboo lid on as well, but I didn't get that. I just got these and these are for my, um, we call it the the workman's toilet down the back. It, it's it's poxy, it needs painting and everything, but it, you, when you're out in the garden, it's just quick and easy. Or if the workmen are here, it's quick and easy for them to just run in and use that one. So I've bought those for in there and for a pound each. I mean, you know, they're all right, aren't they? And that they've got a bin as well. Uh, I think the bin was, I think the bin was six pound. So that was a new range in there that I hadn't seen before. And then I picked up this. It's a uh, dishmatic uh, little duo pack. So you get the dishmatic um, dispenser for your washing up liquid with a scrubber on. A spare scrubber and a bottle of washing up liquid and that was two quid for that and I thought well you know if you pay two quid for a washing up liquid so I'll just grab that and it's very bright I always used to use these and then I stopped using them I don't know why so looking forward to using those again then I picked up some Fabulosa in the scent Honolulu I haven't seen that one before and it's just the antibacterial spray clean everything 99.9 percent .9 germs killed with that love the color i hope it smells nice let's have a whiff oh yeah that smells gorgeous it really does so that was a pound and then i picked up some of these to put in the cistern of the toilet, two for the quid. They are lavender scented. And I picked up, well, I'm going to open this because it's called W7 Angel Balm. And it says that it's line eraser. Never seen it before. Now it's running. Don't know what it's like. I don't know what it is. Not going to be able to see that. Hang on. I've got my glasses. My nose is running. Oh, God, I'm in the right state. It says, gently apply to your face to reduce shine and smooth out fine lines and wrinkles. Wow. wonder if it's any good. Oh, God, it's got bloody cellophane all around it. That I'm not going to be able to get into. Oh, there we go. I mean it. Oh, my nose is running really bad. There's no smell to it or anything. It just looks like that. Oh, it feels like... Oh. <laughs> it's a sponge. I'm just having one. <laughs> I'm just having one of them days, guys. I really am. It's a bloody sponge. 
much. No wonder it don't smell and it feels weird. Oh my god. Anyway, it looks like that. Now, no smell to it. Well, it, I don't know what it feels like. How that's going to do anything, I have no idea. And it's doing absolutely nothing. Nothing at all. What the actual hell? Oh, God. I don't know whether you had to wet it or something. I don't know. I'm going to have to read... Re <laughs> I'm going to have to read the instructions properly. Oh, my God. Look at me with my glasses on. This is old age, guys. Old age. Now, just ingredients. Apply to your face to reduce shine and smooth out lines and wrinkles. Well, God knows how you apply. Oh, God. <laughs> it's got... I'm not having a very good day at all. It's got some stuff at the top of it. No wonder. Oh, God. There's something wrong with me. There really is something wrong with me. Right, let's try again. It looks like that. There's still no smell to it. Okay, it's got. It's like a, a waxy texture. It's like a primer. I mean, you're not going to be able to see anything, but it's worth a go for a pound. I've never seen anything like that before. I can't believe what I've just done. So, yeah, it was a pound and it's, it gets rid of fine lines and wrinkles. Well, I'll need the old bloody tub to get rid of my in, but we'll give it a go for a pound. And you know what I've got to do now? Just excuse me a minute. I've just got to get some tissue. One second. Good job there's a toilet just there. Right. Of course, you know, it don't look very good, does it? Make it wiping my snot over my, my finger. <laughs> Scrub. <laughs> oh, dear. So, I'm just going to have to keep wiping my nose, guys, because my eye's causing my nose to run. Anyway, uh, last couple of things from uh, Poundland. I picked up this T-shirt bra, which is really pretty got this it's nude with this lovely pink and blue and uh, like a sage green on it and it was in the sale and it was reduced to two pounds don't know what it was originally it's underneath there oh there we go oh it should have been three pound fifty so i got one one fifty off it and it is really really nice you can never have too many bras and knickers can you really and they've got the knickers as well and they were a pound so a little set for three quid bargain not bad at all so that's pound land out the way i'm going to leave the charity shop bits till last because that you know i had some really well i've had three nice bargains so uh, B and M now. First thing, Fabulosa toilet roll. The bought some toilet roll out. Uh, let me have a look how much it was. Can't quite remember. Got my receipt. Uh, oh God, here we go. Fabulosa two ninety nine for nine packs. So not bad. And it's scented as well. I can smell it through the plastic. It's scented as well, so you'll have a nice, uh, what's it scented? Electrify. Your muff will smell like electrify. So there you go, a nice uh, smelling muff, which we all like. Now, next thing I picked up was a little black bean. This is for Leslie's toilet that he's installed in his garage. Um, you know, just for waste paper and stuff because a little sink in that in there and that as well it's quite nice actually it's like this woven it's only plastic and it's got a little pedal on it to open it and it was only four pounds is that a, yeah pedal bin 6.5 litres four pounds so that's ideal for in these little um toilet outside Throw that out of there, out the way. Uh, right, B&M. Loaded fries, 
two bags for £1.50 today, uh, six in each bag, absolutely love these, I'm obsessed with them, every time I'm out I buy some, I must have about 30 bags in the bloody cupboard, so yeah, two for £1.50 today they were, I'll just throw everything down there, every time I go out I get one, £4.50, Nescafe Gold Blend, you guys know I only drink Gold Blend, um, yeah, £4.50, Kitchen towel, one pound. Nothing interesting to say about kitchen towel, really. Uh, I picked up a colour for my hair. This is silver diamond blonde, and that was I think that was a two ninety nine or two forty nine. Let me have a look. It's by Garnier. I think I've used it before. Uh, where would that be? Oh my god, I can't see it. Oh, colour sensation. Two ninety nine. Two ninety nine cost uh you know, let's just have a look at the roots. They really needed doing. And I just want to do it when I'm closer to going away for a few days, so I'm just gonna wait. I'll just have to put up with the roots. And then I picked up three of these. Oh my nose keep it running. Sorry guys, not very attractive I know, but oh, it is what it is. I picked up three of these um, drinks. That one is rhubarb gin with ginger ale. This one is a passion fruit martini. And then this one is vodka, lime and lemonade. And they were... I've tried the martini one before, but I haven't tried the others. 89 pence each, they were. So I thought, you know, this evening, while I'm sitting, chilling, watching the telly, nice cocktail glass with some icing, and I'm well away. Drown me sorrows. Because I'm having such a shitty day with my eye, and I can hardly see out my glasses. They're absolutely filthy. Let me just give them a little bit of a wipe. It's just, just not on, is it? I bet you guys think I was here again. <laughs> right, then I also picked up these little mirror candle plates. They were a pound each. I picked up two, which I thought would be nice to put the um, wax melt burners on and the coffee table. So I picked up two of those. I picked up some Zalflora in the scent Summer Breeze. I haven't seen that one before, so we have a whiff. I think that was one ninety nine. Oh, oh, that smells absolutely gorgeous. I haven't seen this one before. Yeah, one ninety nine for the Zalflora. I mean, you know, have you even been to B and M if you don't get any Zalflora? And then I saw this. This was one pound fifty for two in this multi pack beach vibes. And again, it's just the um, anti back spray and the scents are Sunshine Kiss and Coconut and Lime Breeze, two for £1.50. So that's quite good, isn't it? Then I got some Fairy Up Liquid. <laughs> fairy Washing Up Liquid, you know what? My dad always used to call it Fairy Up Liquid and that just that just come out. <laughs> fairy Up Liquid, yeah. So, yeah, got some Fairy Up Liquid in the scent Spring Fresh Pink Jasmine. I haven't seen that one before either. And that was one ninety nine as well. I like to stock up on my washing up liquid. Then I saw these. These are new. Wax melt. They are sandalwood, cedar, and cardamom scented. I was going to say flavoured, scented. Nine wax melts for one pound fifteen. It does say new there, and the range is called Restore. They've got a few others, but this one smelt the nicest. Oh, it's really, really nice. So one pound fifty for those. And then he came out with me. Oh, isn't he just the cutest? Elephant tea light holder. He's absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have him by the side of my bed. And he was only £4. And that Urban Urban Paradise range. They've got some really nice 
um, bits in that at the moment. But I couldn't leave him on the shelf. You know, you guys know I'm obsessed with elephants. So he came on with me and he's going to go by the side of my bed with a little tea light in. And then I also picked up a new mug. How nice is this mug? Just lovely and floral and it was £2.50. I love the cup shaped mugs. Do you know what I mean? Like the oversized cup. Cup of tea in there. Absolutely. I always have a cup of tea in the evening. I don't have coffee. So I am absolutely looking forward to using that tonight. And it's got a little flower on the inside there as well. So that's for my cup of tea in bed tonight. And then that's the last and one more thing in this, this bag and then um, the le next few bits and foodie bits. But I saw this. Now I'm going to have to put my glasses on for this again. This was 4 99 and it's called Body Glow by Skinny Tan. Now they're, they're quite a good brand, aren't they? Skinny Tan. It's in the shade medium. And it says that it's everyday moisturising lotion that builds to your desired colour with each application. Fast absorbing and non-sticky, delicious coconut and vanilla scent. And you get um, 8.4 fluid ounces in there. So I thought for my legs, because my legs always take the longest to tan. You can actually say, I mean, I, I was up burnt like I looked like a lobster on Sunday I was that burnt but I soon go brown so you can see you know I'm quite tanned you can see my white bits there look just after one day in the sun but my legs always take the longest that's why I picked that up so I thought take that on holiday with me and every day just moisturize my legs with that and it'll just build up and match the rest of me so yeah, I thought that was quite good for four ninety nine for skinny tan as well. Never seen that in B and M before. So that's the last um, bits in that bag. Uh, these are foodie bits. Picked up some more sizzling steak. What's it? You guys know I love these, but today I picked up two because you know one's just not enough. I I, I love these. They're gorgeous. Uh, powder pack so I picked up two of those I picked up Les and Aero Dark and Milk for a pound he really likes that and I also picked him up two more of the large rum and raisin bars they are £1.49 for the rum and raisin and he really likes that as well he says it's really nice he loves dark chocolate so I picked him up two of these as well you don't see these very often the dark chocolate bounty so i picked him up two of those how much were they because they didn't have a price on let's have a look dark chocolate bounties uh 49 pence so i bought him two of those so he's got plenty to munch on this evening and then i also saw these i've saw them before and i kept putting them down picking them up putting them down i thought you know what so i need to try them the biscoff creams uh, milk chocolate flavour so they were a pound for uh, 11 biscuits but you know what with a cup of coffee there's nothing better than biscoff biscuits and then I saw this never saw this before drumstick chocolate it says delicious milk chocolate with raspberry and milk centre thought that was worth a try for a quid I love drumsticks. I actually looked like one the other day. You know, the squashies, pink, white, pink, white, all the way down. So, yeah, I thought I'd try that for um, a quid. I'll let you know over on Instagram whether it's uh, any good. Might do a little taste test on the story or something. And then the last thing from B&M that I picked up was this massive box of... Yorkshire tea and you get 210 tea bags for the price of 160 and they were £4.49 for the tea bags. Just wipe my nose again. Sorry. So that's everything that I got from B&M. My darlings, uh, not loads really, but you know, some nice bits there. Now, on to... The charity shop bits i got three things from the charity shop today and it was the hope house um charity shop 
first thing that I picked up was this Karen Millen sunglasses case for three pounds. How nice is that? Now, I don't know how it's got the Karen Millen on the inside. It looks brand new. There's not a mark on it. I don't know how much that would be in. Uh, I mean, somebody's probably had a pair of Karen Millen glasses, haven't they? And, you know, just got rid of the case. But I don't know whether you can buy the case separately. But I thought for £3, how sweet is that with a gold Karen Millen on the front? So that was the first bargain for £3. And then the next bargain that I got, this has still got the tags on. It's a new look, long line cardigan. It's quite difficult to show you. It's ribbed, lightweight. It's not a thick, thick one, you know. Nice for spring and autumn and the cooler summer evenings. It's ribbed. It's got the little turn-ups on the bottom of the cuffs. And it's in like a grey, green kind of colour. It probably looks more grey on on the camera but it is like um, a grey green type of colour and it's long and it's got the um, side splits there just edge to edge no buttons or anything and it should have been 17 99 as I say still got the tag on and I got it for £7.50 and I've been looking for one of these you know I've been looking on eBay and all over the place and I just couldn't make my mind up and I thought, you know what, for £7.50, I'm just going to take that. So, just chuck it on so you can see what it looks like. You're not going to be able to see all the way down now. But yeah, not too bad, just edge to edge. But you can't see all the way down to uh, my feet. But it comes uh, mid mid uh, shins, you know, just uh, mid calf, mid shins, mid calf. So, that was the bar another bargain. But here comes the bargain of the day. Now, I've never heard of this brand. So, when I go home, one sec. When I go home, I googled them. Check these shoes out. How nice are they? Size 6. Now, I did notice when I got home, the guy only charged me £5 for them in the charity shop. But that does actually say £15 on there. So when I go back to the charity shop, I will donate um, the other £10. Because, you know, I, I don't want to do a charity shop out of any money. But I didn't know myself either until I got home. So there should have been £15. But he did only charge me 5 and noticed on my receipt. But and then another reason that I'm going to go and take the £10 back to them is... They should have been £215. Now, they have been worn. It looks like they may have only been worn once or twice. There's a bit of dirt on the bottom and stuff. So I googled this name and the name is Lafina. Lofina. I don't know how you say it. Can you see it there? Lafina. And they are handmade Italian leather shoes. They do boots and shoes and bags and everything is all handmade Italian leather. Look at those. How nice are they going to look with a lovely little flowy dress when I'm away in the, on, in the motorhome? I, I just couldn't get over it. But I will definitely donate the other £10 when I go back to the charity shop because it's one that I use quite regular. So, yeah, And I've tried them on. They're a little bit narrow across this bit here. But I thought, well, you know, of course they're leather. They're, they're going to give, not the down hurt, but they, they could just do with just a little, I'm going to have to wear them in, aren't I? Like any leather shoes. So, yeah, absolute bargain of the day, guys. £215 and I got them for five. Well, we'll be 15 when I give them the, the £10. Pound. 15 quid for these. I, I just I just can't get out of it. I mean, why would somebody pay £215? Maybe they hurt them now. Maybe, you know, because they're a bit narrow there across the front. Perhaps they wore them the once, which it only looks like they've been worn once or twice and they couldn't get along with them. Perhaps that's why they took them to the charity shop. But yeah, should have been 215 quid. So if you Google that name, Lafina, 
you'll see for yourself. These were the first ones that come up as well when I googled it, but in black. Oh, uh, there you go, bargain of the day. And that's everything that I got, my darlings. I hope you've enjoyed um this little vlog. I hope it's not too long. I do try to keep them short because you know I'm absolutely rubbish at um editing. I'm I'm still learning. I'm trying. So I'm gonna go and edit this video now. I'm gonna have something to eat and then upload this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please smash the thumbs up button. And if you haven't already, please, please subscribe down below and support my channel. I really, really do appreciate it so much. And just before I go, my next video is going to be my very first collaboration. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I'm doing a collaboration with another YouTuber. I'm not going to say anything more than that, but that will be being brought to you um, over the next few days. Uh, maybe. I don't know, because I've got to wait for something to come. So as soon as whatever it is that's coming, I'll uh, I'll do the video and I really hope you enjoy it. I'm so, so excited to do my first collaboration. It really, really means so much to me. So, yeah, I'm off to uh, take my contact lenses out because my eye is getting worse by the minute and stick my glasses on and just have something to eat and a few drinks and enjoy the rest of my evening and i hope you guys enjoy the rest of your evening too no matter where you are in the world and what you're doing i hope you enjoy the rest of your day love you guys loads bye